Hello everybody, the Shadowverse Next 2024 presentation just ended and I think I got all of my shouting and screaming out of the way. So now <laughs> me and Tanko are going to go through the trailer frame by frame and break down everything you need to know about Shadowverse Worlds Beyond. Okay, so let's go through the trailer right now. So the first thing that you notice is that they are doing a Marvel Studios <laughs> type flashback yeah, throughout the, all the expansions that have come before. This is all the stuff we've done, and all the stuff we're losing. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get into that in a second. New project, okay. These are the new characters. We got a sneak peek at two of them, but basically all... Wait, is that seven? Is that seven of them? Well, there's seven classes now. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes, there's seven classes now. So there we, there we have it. Seven new characters representing each of the classes. The guy in the far left just looks like another Urias. Like, it just looks like Urias with a different hairdo. The design is incredible. So that, that's okay, a portal. No, shades. That oh, one man. was... So the, the girl in the front is Portal, and she's Who's the that? main protagonist. And then we have... I am the protagonist craft now, Igni. <laughs> Who is this? I'm thinking Haven. He looks kind of like a pastor or something. That's my speculation. That one is dragon for sure, man. Like, I, I can already tell. I mean, he this, looks a little soft for dragon, but... This actually, one is no, probably... she. This one's probably... Eyelashes. Yeah, this one's probably a dragon, I, I think. Okay, and that's... Actually, Tomboy. Oh, wait, maybe this one's Haven. No, this one's probably Sword, I think. The armor and everything. Yeah, she's got Paladin, and she? Yeah. <laughs> that's rude. <laughs> <laughs> we already know. Gas I mean, man. She even has Isabel's hair color, man. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Isabel hair color. They already, we already have a gas mask wife in Rune already. Right, that one is Rune. Why is the quality so bad? Can we get me off the quality? There you go. That's Abyss, obviously. <laughs> yeah, there's literally nothing else it could be. So, guys, first things first, before we really get into it. Shadowverse Worlds Beyond is a whole new Shadowverse game that's replacing the original Shadowverse. And these are the new protagonists. And one of the big things is that Blood and Shadow are now one class, Abyss Craft. Same as Shadowverse Evolve. Kind of and that's the new forest guy. It's kind of based on we have a new, like, a, a monster character as part of the main cast. Yeah, I do like it. And the new forest guy looks immaculately designed as well. And then this is the new UI, so this oh. is the versus screen. The 3D backgrounds look so much better yeah, than they so do in clean. Shadowverse 1. I, I can't believe I can't believe I have to call it Shadowverse 1 now. I'm like uh. shaking, dude. Okay, so in Shadowverse 2, the new UI looks so good and the backgrounds look so much better. Okay, so this is the first and going going first, going second. The new the new mulligan. Okay, so if the we take a look at the new mulligan, you now mulligan five cards? Huh. You mulligan five cards? Do you, do you still draw, like, wait, also the decks look really thick too, right? The decks do look really thick. Do they, do they expand to like 60 colors or something now? So you, that, so, I wonder if this is like the that's player. That's a ding dong. That is a ding dong. Wait, we have Goliath up here, ding dong, elephant, Imperial and then like some Man. literally who's down here. Oh my god. These decks are gigantic, yeah. No, ding dong, come on. She's got... She's got three defense. Wait, wait, wait. Let, let me just take a look. So, is this player going first or second? The player that we're expecting right now. Because right now, the system is that you mulligan three cards, and then the player going second draws two, right? So, well, what if the player going stats. second... What if the player going second just mulligans... F f right? Yeah, yeah because the, that's the, the case. The yeah. opposite player has four cards. Yes, okay. Okay, I guess that makes so, more sense, yeah. So, the player going first has four cards, and the player going second has five cards, and you have access to the mulligan for all of them right off the bat. And that, that makes a lot of sense, I think, because I don't know if you guys know your Shadowverse history, but the, the go player going second and drawing two as a, as a countermeasure to balance going second was actually added in, like, halfway through the first set. So... It was kind of like a band-aid solution. Now you get the full mulligan right off the bat. Also, uh, look at the stats. What, what's up? What stats? Uh, but some of the cards are like overstated. Yeah, uh, five cards with what? Six, seven, and six cards with eight, nine. So it's kind of similar to Shadows Evolve, where the uh, the like baseline for stats is a bit higher. 
So just because you have a card of this cost doesn't mean it's, it's expected to be like, you know, five cost five five anymore. I mean, I'm glad that's probably a vanilla. He probably doesn't have an effect anyway, but. So here's another thing that they mentioned later on in the stream and that you can see it here right now. Uh, the player going first now starts with three evolution points and the player going second starts with four evolution points. And the idea behind the evolution points is starting on your, you still evolve turn four and turn five, depending on if you're going second or first, but there's a new mechanic called super evolution that happens on turn six for the second player and turn seven for the, uh, for the first player. And you can see that's why two of the evolution points are colored in blue, because starting on your sixth turn, two of your evolution points can be converted into a super evolution point. So, and we also see here in the, in the, this amulet has a new function where it can be engaged on field, similar to Magic the Gathering or Shadow vs. Evolve, where cards on field can have additional effects that can be activated once they're already played. Also, if you look at the, um, if you look at the, the uh, deck size and like the shadows and stuff, I'm pretty sure it's still like a 40 card deck. Oh also, yeah, that, you're in, right. In that last screen, it was it was they were on turn nine, nine pay points. Bro, turn nine meta confirmed. <laughs> Wait, let me see, let me see. This is really gonna be a frame by frame, by the way. So if you're <laughs> if you're like, why are they taking so long to get through the trailer? Then that's what this is. <laughs> what is this play point plus one button on the on the right side here that I'm asking? Uh, uh, what is that? Uh, what could that be? What do they mean by this? You just play get to, point you just have plus a one. Wait, what if like? Oh, you just is get it like, like a the coin button? The yeah, coin? it might be like so. Basically, in Hearthstone, there's a mechanic called the coin, where the player going second can add one play point to their turn once during the game. So to can put you this in, to put this in like Shadowverse evolve terms, it's like having uh, the Evo points going right. second, where it's basically replaces a play point. Do we get a coin going second? Coins confirmed. What are the circles on the right? Well, that's the timer. The timer is now a full circle, I think, which is a hugely that's welcome change. That's actually really helpful, yeah. That's a really welcome change. I think this might be the coin. Or maybe overflow, like overflow the play points in Runeterra. Interesting. Yeah. Okay, like let's, keep, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Okay, so we see the effect of that one. We also see a couple new cards here. The evolve animation for the protagonist here. Oh, that animation. Dude, this animation. Oh, new Satan! Go new Satan! Satan! Satan. <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. New Prince of Darkness! Prince of Darkness. <laughs> okay, the animations look oh, super. God. The animations are legitimately so leveled up from Shadowverse 1. Yeah, it changes the whole. Wait, 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 wait. What? Did you see that? Yeah, like I saw this in a trailer. I'm like, what does that even mean? Uh, Like the first time we saw it, what does that even mean? Like, what, what are these tokens on the side? So playing playing Prince of Darkness what? gave Wait, the there's player an Orcus leader. There's an Orcus leader. Chat saw Orcus leader. Okay, can we Wait, can let's you, talk about this you... one first. No, no, no. no. <laughs> so playing okay. Prince of Darkness adds an effect. Maybe it's a maybe it's an indicator for leader effects. Uh, or, someone or, might... or the character's effect. If you so is there like a is there like a frame on here where you could see the text box? Like, can you Google Lens translate it? Is no. that possible? They or just played just... it and then the animation happens. <laughs> Can we frame by frame to see if that is in fact an Orcus okay, leader? Okay, so I think there's two <laughs> possibilities what this, that this could be. This could be character leader effect showing the duration, yeah. or it's a new zone. I'm, I'm thinking it's probably just showing the duration of the effect, though. Yeah, that would make more sense, yeah. Yeah. Okay, moving on. <gasps> oh, wait, you want to see the Orcus? <gasps> there is an Orcus <laughs> leader! <laughs> Orcus and Albert leaders are back! Why did I see Albert the first time, but I didn't see Orcus? Like <laughs> you were blinded by its majesty, I think. It okay, this is the this is the, the the super evolve, right? Yep. So this is the super evolve. Wait, new Albert card. You see that? He does the same pose as the leader. Dude, these animations are so gas. These animations are so gas. Okay, God, what is Cerberus this? Leader actually looks good. That's 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 the guy. That's what's his name. Um, that's a Aragavi. But is there a yeah, is there a crazy. choose a choose mechanic? Is this is, is this I a mean, new UI for choose? That, but it looks like choose. Yeah. Time to bring out the Google Lens. Please, Google, don't fail me now. Let me check 
if anyone. Oh, can this, this is the UI. This is the UI for Super Evolution or Regular Evolution. Oh, okay, that makes so sense. So the left yeah. is Regular Evolution and the right is Super Evolution. So you get to pick whether or not you want to spend your EP as an Evolution or as a Super Evolution effect. That's nice. It's not like you're forced to have. You're not super forced into EP. it. Yeah. It's not like you have to like enhance where you have to do it. Oh. Okay, so that's the super evolution. Oh my god, that's so powerful. So pretty much like this, this also shows that every leader is going to have a full screen animation, unlike just the gacha leaders. Okay, so that's Evo. that's the, the gameplay overhaul for the Shadowverse card game part. And I'll, let me tell you right now in chat, this is the second biggest news of the day, other than Shadowverse is getting a new game. The new game contains a Fortnite open world. <laughs> where no, bro. Bro, the biggest news of today is Mahjong. Okay, we'll get into that. So, like, I think this is their learning from uh, Grand Blue Versus, which had, like, an open hub world. You can make chibi avatars, customize your avatar, and socialize with people in the hub world, even organize tournaments with people in the hub world. You can play can soccer, apparently. Can we ratio people with shrimp like Grand Blue? <laughs> ah, I can't believe I'm going to have to learn how to play Mahjong. Okay, so the main <laughs> game mode in Shadowverse Worlds Beyond is... Shadowverse, the card game. But Mahjong. so far, <laughs> they've also included soccer, Mahjong, and then you'll see ahead of the trailer here right now. They also include fishing. Fishing! 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 <laughs> you can, you, you see them catch the, uh, I forgot his name, but the, the dragon fish, the legendary. So there's fishing, you can catch this rest on, <laughs> and it's a five star five fish. Star. There's also, by the way, Dragalia lost. <laughs> like, what does that even mean in the context of the rest of the game? Like, so, so do they just have an option, like just a whole side RPG mode? Oh, so Dragalia, Dragalia lost. If you guys didn't know, is the collab game between Shadow, uh, between Side Games and Nintendo that got canceled like a year ago, and Side Games, I guess, were like, mm, no. It's actually now Dragalia found and we're putting it in Shadowverse. <laughs> it's Dragalia, it's literally Dragalia lost. Anyway, I saw this and I started literally shaking. Yeah. Okay. I was like so containing now my excitement and then the Mahjong, I just lost my shit at the Mahjong. So let's talk about the 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 information here. Okay. Yeah, so can, can it, we get that world flipper mode too? <laughs> <laughs> it's a competitive online card game, as you know. iOS, Android, PC, free to play with optional in-app purchases with international languages supported. Okay. Literally it's replacing Shadowverse, as I said. It's Shadowverse 2. It literally is Shadowverse 2. And we also got some more information here. Like I said, the new mechanic Super Evolution. On the second player's sixth turn or the first player's seventh turn, you can convert two evolution points into super evolution points. And the first player has three evolution points and the second player has four evolution points. As we also saw from the deep down breakdown that we did, the deep dive, it uh, looks like the first player starts with four cards in their mulligan and the second player starts with five cards in their mulligan. So here's an example of a new feature called in, uh, Engage. Like I said, you can activate a, a, an ability of a card that's already on the field. In this case, you select an allied follower, give it plus one, plus one, and destroy this amulet. Now, here's big news. <laughs> Portal Craft has survived. Oh, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> but Shadow Craft and Blood Craft, just like in the physical TCG, have been merged into Abyss Craft. So, shadow and blood made in shambles. <laughs> shadow and blood are now one class, as I mentioned previously. Luna, Luna has been adopted, adopted by Urias. <laughs> Not only that, but the seven classes now have new protagonists. We saw a sneak peek of them from the trailer, but here's the details on two of them. One, Drazen. Dryzen. Uh, really amazing design, first of all. It's and so good. She's the new Portal Craft protagonist of the game. They made Portal Craft from a nemesis to a protag. Okay? Her design is incredible. And also, also, the Forest Craft leader, Love Sign, who has maybe oh, one of the coolest so designs hot. I've ever seen in my life. Oh my god. <laughs> it's so cool. He is so damn cool. All he's right, let's keep. He's basically Sino. I bet he has keep... the same voice actor, too. Dude, he's so sick. Let's keep moving forward. 
Next, like I said, there's a world hub feature. You can make custom made avatars. And they also mentioned that there are sets that contain unique animations. So they're implementing emotes to enhance player communication, and sets will contain unique animations to specific characters. So oh, basically, does that, mean that, does that mean there won't be a world chat, <laughs> like a direct <laughs> chat? I don't think they're gonna add direct chat. That would be. I hope they don't. <laughs> insanely toxic. Can I go back to the mahjong screen and see if there's open <laughs> mic? <laughs> oh, I do. You do not want open mic on mahjong. <laughs> Anything but that. There is open no mic. <laughs> Soul doesn't have the balls for that. They're gonna. I'm gonna be the most toxic Shadow vs. Mahjong player of Bro. all time. This is gonna be the most dangerous Mahjong client of all time. Dude, oh. I'm, whenever I stream Mahjong, I'm gonna have to mute everybody, okay? I'm not trying to catch the <laughs> ban hammer. <again. laughs> oh my god, that's such a bad idea. Okay, let's keep moving forward though. So players can interact and battle with each other from the hub world. You can now, okay, so you know how before you had to join a Discord server or like play on ratings? Oh, yeah. Or now you can do it straight from the game. You can meet other people in the game. Bro, fast forward five years, gonna get married to a honey that I met on Shadowverse Worlds <laughs> Beyond, bro. <laughs> no it's more like, Discord, oh. no more websites. I'm gonna fight people directly in the game, brother. Oh, Tonka, Let's how'd go. you meet your wife? Oh, she just, she found me. She really liked my Junko avatar. Yeah, she, we played and she thought that my degenerate dragon was funny. So she... <laughs> <laughs> Is there going to be different servers? Like, as in like different region servers? I don't think so. I think it's going to be, oh, but that means I'm going to have to learn Japanese. Yeah, Bros, like we are learning Japanese, okay? okay so they're, they're not going to have like a, It's if it's open, if it's an open server, like with everyone, it's, it's gonna be really disorganized trying to like I think it's probably just gonna be um that, what's that, it called? Players in a lobby. World of Warcraft does this. It's called sharding, where with a D not, not a T <laughs> with a D. <laughs> 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 where basically each the world is the same server, but it has different instances that like um proactively rearrange what shard you're in depending on the population and stuff. So that's that's I'm gonna predict that for this. I don't think they're gonna separate the servers, but they probably I, have some like, like underlying network model that balances the population. I feel like having open mic with different regions and languages is gonna be really rough. Mm. Well, it's gonna be really funny, but like you know, <laughs> let's keep moving forward. So as we saw, there is a uh, mahjong fishing and dragalia lost. Uh, more details will be revealed at a later date. Okay, let's keep moving forward. The next thing is, of course. The esports scene. I'll take over from here because I'm the <laughs> tournament caster. Bro, I just I can't believe they're turning Shadowverse into Yakuza. I know. Okay, so big news: tournaments are in-person tournaments are so back starting next year. By the way, again, Shadowverse Worlds Beyond releasing summer 2024. Rage Shadowverse is in. Rage Shadowverse Pro Tour is in. In-store tournaments. So I think are they gonna like? Both have Shadowverse Evolve and Shadowverse Worlds Beyond in the same store and convert players either way. That's a really smart idea if that's the yeah, case. That's, that's, that's nice, yeah. That's like actually kind of a genius idea. Then we have student tournaments, which we already had the uh, Shadowverse Collegiate League, and online tournaments are still a thing. Big news for overseas tournaments, though, outside of tournaments in Japan. NetEase is still ongoing, as we know. Obviously, KMR is actually even right now at Shadowverse NetEase, so NetEase support is continuing. Big news, Shadowverse Korea Open is back. Don't call it a comeback. They were dead for like maybe two months. <laughs> and they immediately came back, baby. Shadowverse Taiwan is still here. And good news for me, which means I still have a job, hopefully. Fingers crossed they hire me on Yay, for next congrats. year. <laughs> fingers crossed they hire me on for next year. Uh, Shadowverse Open West and SEAO are still in effect. So we are in it, boys. We are in it. Let's keep moving forward. This is the biggest news of all time. Shadowverse World Grand Prix hasn't been a thing for years, ever since the pandemic. And now we have Shadowverse World Championship. Bro, bro Chris is like, brother, can I join y'all's call? I need someone to talk to. <laughs> okay. 
Well, let, let, let me go through the news first, and then we'll get Chris on for his final thoughts as an ending of this video. Because I am recording this for YouTube right now. <laughs> so, 10 million yen and a special Shadowverse Evolve promo card. So, th if you, if you want to sell it, that's even more money on top of the 10 million yen. Again, another million dollar tournament, essentially. Shadowverse World Grand Prix is back. And here are the following distributions of slots given to di players from different regions. Uh, lots of slots for players from Japan, as usual. Eight slots from Raid Shadowverse. Three slots for Shadowverse Pro Tour. Four for NetEase. Two for Korea. Two for Taiwan. Three for West and SEAO. So very competitive. I think the yeah, slots really for West and SEAO have been reduced. I think before we had four. And now wildcard two slots, which is insane. Okay, Wait, so, so can you explain to me what wildcard, like, what that actually entails? So basically after the competitive season, right? Like, after it's all said and done, and we have the people who are, like, going in through the traditional tournaments, wildcard is, like, last chance. If you win this, you go straight there. No, oh, okay. It's like, it's like an all or nothing, and it, like, adds a lot of hype for, like, okay... Like, for example... So it's like a last-minute event, like how... Yeah, it's like a last-chance qualifier. Last-minute yeah. regionals right now. Okay. So basically, like... If you were competing the whole season, but you just couldn't top, then you have a, a final chance. Or if you found out about Shadowverse late, but you're exceptionally talented, and you're like, okay, I'm going to give this a shot. It basically just adds so much more storylines that can happen, you know? So. Okay. Uh, moving forward. I'm like freaking out. Okay. I think that's all the announcements, actually. Okay, so that's everything that well, you they, need to know about well, Shadowverse also, Next 2024 and Shadowverse Worlds mentioned. Beyond. Yep, they also mentioned that they're going to talk about what's going to happen with, like, right. old clients. Yes, yes, yes. But, like, they're talking about that, like, four days later. Like, that's kind of a huge deal. We're ditching an old... We're, we're, we're potentially losing everything in the old game. And, like, yeah. they, they're blue balling us on what they have planned for that. Here it is. Here it is. The official announcement is... Regarding the future operation of Shadowverse 1, we'll announce it on December 14th. I think the reason why is because, like, they don't want to bog down the hype announcement with the minutia. Yeah, that's, that's it's probably... Gonna, it's gonna be sad news. <laughs> uh, I'm I gonna don't... have to find out. We, we don't know for sure, but... <laughs> I'm not of course, expecting too much to carry over. Don't, don't have... I, yeah, I would say keep your expectations in check. Uh, and um, December 14th, the news will drop on what happens to Shadowverse 1. Does anything carry over? We'll find out. So, uh, you know, well, once that drops, I'll also be covering that, obviously, on this channel as well. So that's just, it. Oh, sorry, go I ahead. I just don't like that we have to be in suspense for, like, four whole days. Like, maybe, yeah, if it was man. just the next day, that would have been one thing. But, like, I'm going to be panicking for the next four days. Like My oh, collection! My friends! My Lashena leader! <laughs> Bro, I globed all those cards. Yeah, any, yeah, that that's the one thing that's like the, you know, the one that, that that's questionable. <laughs> Where you I'm like, what? I don't I'm know gonna, what's gonna happen. You know what? Help. Though? I'm gonna I'm gonna complete my collection. I'm gonna globe every single Polarcraft card before the servers end. <laughs> that's my goal. <laughs> because indeed, this game is replacing Shadowverse One. So basically, um, oh my God, an insummation. Holy guacamole. Thank you for yeah. watching. Tanko, thank you for being on this call with me. Uh, Wait, do we like, bring Chris on? Like, I'll, we'll do that after this video. I'm, or, I'm, yeah. I'm already recording. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like the video, subscribe, and uh, yeah, Shadowverse Worlds Beyond and Shadowverse Next. All the content will be on this channel, as you know. So um, stay tuned for more uh, news as it comes out. I'll be covering it every step of the way. All right, I'll see you guys later. Bye. Peace.